Finance is everywhere. Good or bad, demon or god, the source of much of what is going wrong in the world today, or the engine of unprecedented growth and poverty reduction. Regardless of where you stand on those questions, finance is what enables us to create, store, and redistribute value. In other words, it is central to our social and economic system today. It allows us to cash in on our daily work and fulfill our needs. It allows us to invest in health, education, and create businesses. Yet, it is also undoubtedly flawed. It is the bedrock and bedfellow of a system in which increasing inequalities and social injustice are threatening the existence of the system itself. So, is finance a necessary evil? Is it too big to fail and to change? Or can it become a driver of change? Can we imagine a financial system that values sustainability, that fosters equality, that stimulates social justice? At École des Ponts Business School, we believe in the power of questions. Last year, we launched two initiatives to explore the future of finance. A futures literacy lab leading up to the 47th Global Congress on Banking Transformation in Paris, and a futures literacy lab as part of Climate Finance Week Ireland. And the takeaways from the Futures Literacy Labs were amazing, unexpected, insightful, actionable. Because Futures Literacy is essential in developing the capability to use the future more creatively in the present, and because addressing the questions related to the future of finance is one of the world's biggest challenges today, École des Ponts Business School has requested to create a UNESCO Chair in Financial Anticipatory Systems Thinking. Our overarching ambition? To decipher the financial sector's role and responsibility in contributing to a sustainable and inclusive future for banking, insurance, and society as a whole. To achieve this, we need to shift the way we think about value and what actually constitutes value. We will work with all stakeholders to foster the emergent, explore the divergent, experiment the unexpected, to collectively invent a future we can and want to live sounds ambitious, doesn't it? It is. And we cannot do it alone. We are looking for partners from the financial sector and from organizations committed to shaping the future of finance. We cannot read the future, but we can write it together. <laughs>